Okay, item 26. Move seat to the rear capsule. With fish eyed, fish eyed lens. You guys are fooled by the fish eyed lens? Come on, man. Come on. So There's plenty of fake. pictures without the fish eyed lens that you could find. Mm. This fish eyed lens, you guys but are getting fooled. That's real. Uh, could it be fake because it's a picture? I read it on the internet. That's why I know it's uh, real. I don't know. How do you know it's real? You're a photographer. If you get shot, I'm going to show you. I can do now. a selfie from space that? like this and. Would you? Would that's real? Would you be real? Yes. Would you be open? Okay, that's real to you. Eddie, would you be open to talking to I don't care if you believe that's real. I don't care. Would you be lo ta into talking to an actual astrophysicist? Yes, I would love to. Like, what would you do if Neil deGrasse Tyson was here? Would I would, you have, I would have same, questions for him. same arguments? Would I you, would have some questions. But would you listen to him? Like, if he yeah. told you some shit that actually made sense? Or would you just think he's no, a part of getting I, paid I, off by I, the Round Earth Society? I, I think uh, he's, um, you know, there's people that they push to be their, their spokespeople. And there's really brilliant people that are good at talking, and they're educators like him. And then they get on television, and people love it. And so he comes back, and then he does a hit show called Cosmos that reenacts the Carl Sagan show. And everybody loves it. And more people understand science now than ever before. Because he breaks it's it down. It's hard, Eddie. You know, it's hard Don't because you didn't go to school. Is gravity. You have no idea. Okay, next question. <laughs> wow. So, here's the difference. We can describe gravity. Okay. We can say what it does to other things. We can... We can measure it, predict with it. But when you start asking, like, what it is, I, I, I don't know. It, so it did I not, accidentally I, ask a deeper question than I meant to? Yeah, no, you were meant to ask deep questions. Apparently I was. In life. So, uh, to say what... Astronauts, the bias in the background, uh, obviously trying to give it a more realistic, spacey, station, whatever. Right. Right. The only problem is the camera that was supposed to mask this harness out for the uh, video feed is not working. And so we see the guy kind of final in a harness. This is from Joshua Nowicki, and what you're seeing here is a mirage. We typically would not be able to see this from the Lake Michigan shore. We talked about this last night. Conditions are right on the lake that we're actually seeing a mirage of the Chicago skyline. Very interesting. Here's what's happening. This is a, a good example of a superior mirage. So Joshua was on the Lake Michigan shore. He was looking towards the west, and Chicago's beyond the horizon. Should not be able to see it. However... With the right conditions, we have an inversion. We have cold air near the cold lake water and some relatively warmer air above water and some relatively warmer air above it. This will bend the image of that uh, skyline back towards the viewer. And so typically we would not be able to see this. This image would be viewable from much, much higher in the sky up in space. But instead, really, that to be true. 
Since according to our scientists, your weight is determined by the size of the Earth in relation to its so-called gravitational pull, as some say that the Earth is two times bigger than what NASA claimed, then my weight would have to double. That is a fact. And since my weight hasn't doubled, then this fact alone cancels that belief. Now, these are just little things we miss when we gladly accept beliefs and theories without doing personal research. That simple fact alone cancels that whole Whole idea. Now, are you the pilot? Uh, yes. Am I allowed to say hi? Uh, okay. Hey, I just want to say thanks for the right. swift flight. All right. I okay, really have one question. Is there like a specific angle of downward tilt you have to fly at to make the grease? Three degrees yeah, for the curvature of the Earth. Oh, for the Earth? Because yeah, yeah we just fly over over the troposphere. Really? Yeah. But do you have to keep like kind of going down because? No, we actually have to nose up. They they fly. Really? Because I was reading some stuff on the flat Earth that made a lot of sense. Have you looked into it? This one, this one, sorry. On the, I was reading a lot of stuff on the flat Earth. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. true. True. That's true? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. God bless, brother. All right. Have a good one. You too.